Hey there, this is the guy that was working on his Dano video, but somebody else offered a better second video idea and welcome to this AFK journey video. So for this AFK journey video itself, uh, it's a continuation from the earlier Dano video, which I'll link in the card above where I compared the $0 versus $1,000. And that is to talk about my free to play celestial hypogene investment ideas or what celestial hypogene i went for where i stop and now uh, the reasons why i choose them so i actually have two accounts on the ptr side in case you guys do not know uh, one is my main and one is this chicken little signified by the chicken over here i call it chicken little because it's like the smaller account uh this account is roughly i would say uh six months old right so uh i'll say depending on your own account condition as well as your own optimization of your account um you should be able to achieve what i achieved in six months or even less because uh, i wasn't really the most optimal on this since i have uh like other stuff to do as well as a main account to run so sometimes i don't even lock in from time to time but what i'll do is usually i will finish up my weeklies at least to collect all the uh, coins over here so this is a very important source for your celestial hypogene units and because for this account i was able to reach champion tier so i actually got access to the champion arena stella crystals quite early so that's why i was able to get all these units to this year in case you guys are wondering why my celestial hypogenes are a lot higher so other than just having a long play time which is six months for this account uh, i was also quite I'll say consistent in terms of collecting all the stuff with regards to this class so the guild coins the stellar crystals because as a free to play player i think at every opportunity to get all these stellar crystals or like uh guild coins or what you should always try to grab it so don't don't care about what other people say right like this is one of the most valuable resource in the game because it offers you some of the most powerful units in the game so there's really no way you should skip them even as a free to play player right now they should open up these 10 additional ops per month for the normal arena so even if you're not in the champions arena you should also buy them over all these units because this one gives you access to the likes of Scalita, Reyna, as well as Tardin and Fresno. So they are super duper amazing in all the different game modes. And you should definitely buy all these at every opportunity as a free-to-play player. So now moving to my account. So this is my current Celestial Hypogene collection. So I don't have Fresno, neither do I have Tardin, and I don't have plans to go for Fresno as well as Tardin. So I'll explain why later. That I know as well as Barrel is from the free login rewards together i also got one copy of scalita and one copy of reina so right now my reina is at mythic plus ex weapon 10 so if you are free to play what i would suggest for you guys would be to go for reina mythic plus ex 10 then move on to the second celestial hypogee unit because uh first of all i mentioned this multiple times Rainer's strongest ability is actually this one which is this 25 percent damage increase which will amp up your dream realm rankings right giving you better rewards over time for the weapons portion at the same time you will need that 25 percent damage reduction to protect some of your carries against the endless dream realm bosses in order to further amp up your damage so that's why what i'll say is ex uh, ex10 mythic plus rainer first and then second unit for everyone right in fact it's not just free to be there for everyone because rainer pre-season stronger support right every single boss had rainer's uh, usage and then in strong Strife season early game still has rainer late game you still have i think three or four bosses with rainer as well so this unit is going to be quite useful for quite a while and this unit will be very useful moving forward as long as there's bossing contents as long as there's contents that requires you to do damage so free to play players number one m plus reina ex10 some people might disagree with me you don't even need ex5 on this character you don't even need ex10 fine you don't need that high of an ex level if you feel that the damage reduction on the ally is not big but this 25 percent damage reduction is enough for you to use rainer both in dream realm as well as arena because whatever unit you send in with rainer also act as a semi tank with this 25 percent damage reduction so that's one thing that you might want to know if you are a free play player so this is me min maxing so you can choose obviously not to invest in the ex weapon and use the stones for other equipments but this is just my own account my own rationale why i push it to e extent so next uh my skyta is currently at supreme plus so just a disclaimer 
my order of investment was actually Scalita first and Rayner for this account not because Rayner was bad it was more because uh, Scalita was actually the very first uh, Celestial Hypogene to be released together with Barrel for those of you guys who do not know so Scalita Barrel and then Rayner plus Dano and then now it's Fresto and Tallinn so um, when Scalita first came out she was everywhere she was in PvE she was in Endgame Dream Realm she was in Arena super duper powerful by the way she was like this omnipotent celestial character so back then because there wasn't many right there wasn't others as well so between barrel and scaleta it was a no-brainer to go for her so my initial progression was i pushed her to mythic plus but later on if you push her to mythic plus i'm not sure whether or not there's still this uh, ex weapon leveling gap where you can only level up to ex5 at mythic plus that was pre-global release so now i think they actually changed it you should be able to get her ex weapon to ex10 at mythic plus so right i got her to supreme first to get the ex10 because this is where you get the insta kill ability and that's the most powerful part of a kit and that's where you can use her in arena to dominate and you can also use her in the Scalita PvE store team to insta kill annoying targets like Brutus, Igor, as well as uh, all the units that just doesn't die in the PvE content pushing side of things. So that's where Scalita shines. You will need her at EX10, right? EX5, EX0, not enough. So for Scalita's case, right, if you want to go for Scalita first, you can do it like me, get the EX weapon to EX10 first and then focus on Rainer or focus on another unit if you don't like Rainer's design. But for most people, it's always Rainer first, right? Mythic Plus, EX5, EX10, and then Scalita or another unit. So Scalita as well as Foresto right now, I'll say they are probably on the same tier in terms of uh, general versatility for the free play players. Because uh, for Fresto, Fresto offers a uh, better long-term return returns from the PV side for the Dream Realm things, right? For Scalita's case, Scalita is more PvP centric, although she sees use in some of the Dream Realm teams, but she's really not like a must-have for Dream Realm. Whereas I think Fresto is a must-have if you want to amp up your damage a lot. So that's my point about Scalita and Fresto. So one is more PvP centric and one is more PvE centric. But Fresto is also really good for AFK stage pushing. So if you're into that sort of thing, I think uh Fresto first right to the ex weapon i'll say like five and mythic plus will be the way to go so uh let me reiterate right to make things simple reina m plus ex5 ex10 both okay and then either scalita or fresto so for me i went scalita first and my current plan right now would be to push her to ex15 because ex15 on scalita is the big thing 20 percent is huge by the way but 25 percent is going to win you matches where you don't expect to win so that is the power of skeleton in arena so for me for the dream round sort of things i'm pretty comfortable in terms of my general ranking like I, i'm obviously not in like the top uh 10 or anything but i think top 20 to top 50 is okay for me in terms of dream realm site for free to play account so i am okay with not investing in pv characters because i already have other pv characters whereas the reason why i'm skipping fresto or not focusing on fresto on this account is because you guys can see i have multiple tanks i have lucius i have danny i have torrent i have antendra so i have no lacks of tank i don't need any other tanks to make up for the lack of tanks so yes fresto is better than all of them but the thing is i can still progress even without fresto just at a slower rate so i think i'm fine with that as a free play player but for scarlita's case right now there isn't really like a substitute for scarlita like yes there's od for the insta kill but there isn't really a unit that can provide utility provide shielding while being a semi carry so skeleta would be more unique in that sense so if you guys already have tanks like myself then i'll say skeleta has a higher priority than fresto as for talin's case i'll say talin is actually lower in priority for free to players compared to the whales because talin is good don't get me wrong she's strong but the thing is, right now, whatever Tallinn can do, right, there are a lot of units that can do what she wants to do. 
So from a free to play player's perspective, what I see myself as a free to play player is I want units which are generally versatile. So let's say if I can't use them in this game mode, I want to be able to use them in other game modes and they don't have too many replacements. Right, for Tarnin's case, massive AoE, I have Arden, I have Iron, I have Elsa, I have Carolina. So why would I need Tarlin for massive AoE damage? Infinite Revive sounds really cool, but the thing is, I don't have a lot of stats. So yes, I could abuse her Infinite Revive ability and right get her to EX15 for that uh, fire thing. But as a free to play player, EX15 is going to be quite challenging and it will take quite a while. So I will rather focus my efforts on Skalita first. For Tarlin's case, what our advice uh, for free to play players will be if you do intend to invest in Tallinn, then you get a good tank and you get a good solid team to make Tallinn work. Then that way you will probably enjoy Tallinn more from a free to play player's perspective. Because uh, this is purely from an account perspective where you can only pick up like two or three in the span of six months, like myself. So Tallinn will probably be the third priority in the list. As for Barra and Dino, I'll never recommend them for free to play players because they are pp centric right and they are less versatile compared to Scarlita. so if you want to have a pp character then you rather go for Scarlita, where you can still use her in your afk stage push you can still use her in your battle juice as well as dream realm over the likes of dino and barrel who are mostly pp barrel has a zoo team but you still need floral bell for that to work so that's another story for another day so yeah that's pretty much it just sharing of my free to play celestial hypogen ideas with my own free to play account as well as talking about the different stuff to focus on in case you are in the same category that i'm speaking of right now so in case you guys are wondering how's my celestial hypogen unit collection in my main account look like let me know i can do a video on that and explain why i went for the specific few units even though i did I'll say videos of the respective uh, main celestial hypogene which I invest on and why. But uh, if you guys want a compilation in one video together, let me know down in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching as usual. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.